Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. And today we're going to be checking out the top 10 plugins for After Effects of 2021. Let's go. Number 10, Element 3D. Sadly, this plugin has been slowly fitting out of, out of my workflow. And that is mainly because I have been learning new 3D softwares, um, which allows me to create and manipulate anything in 3D and I even render because when it comes to real renders, there's some other render engines out there that might give you a more realistic look. But not only that, in order to use Element 3D with After Effects, you probably have to use Cinema 4D um, and incorporate it with an After Effects. Now that is a great workflow. Um, but for someone like me, I use Maya as my 3D main package. So it's a bit difficult to actually bring my assets from Maya inside to Element 3D because it doesn't accept certain uh, files like Alumbic Cache and so on. The first time I tried to use the software, I think it was about seven years ago. And based on how from version one to version two, there was a change in the package. Now, after a few years, there has not been an update on the software that will allow you to do new things that uh, you weren't able to do before, possibly stuff when rigging or animating. So given what expectations I had actually for the plugin, I thought that maybe at one point we were gonna be able to rig characters or animate characters inside of Element 3D. And well, the, the fact that years have passed and I actually went ahead and learned other softwares, um, sadly to me, that is not something very encouraging to continue to use the software. Don't get me wrong. I've seen some people use the plugin for amazing things. So I understand the power that it has. That is why I am still including it in my top 10 plugins. Number nine, Projection 3D. With the capacity to build 3D scenes out of still images, this plugin definitely changes the way I work. I'm able to use this for so many different types of work. It can be used for simple portraits to creating complete environments in 3D. And also this plugin seems to continue to improve over time and provide new features to the user. So if I'm working on a simple video edit or even possible social media content or even in a wedding video, this plugin for me gives me the ability to provide a astonishing work based on a few clips. So the fact that I can incorporate this really quickly into my work and provide amazing results this plugin has to be on my top 10. Number eight, the Noiser 3 by Red Giant. So as a user of low-end cameras, I constantly run into having noise on my videos. And although noise can be something very cinematic and give a very cinematic look to your footage, but maybe you just wanna provide a very clean image for your clients and you don't wanna buy a very expensive camera like me. So for those of you who are still seeing that grainy look on your footage, I would definitely recommend checking this plugin out. It's by far one of my favorite ones and it's definitely one that I'm using all the time based on the equipment that I have. Number six, Cosmo by Red Giant. So I love filming people and let's be honest, not everyone has the most amazing skin. And sometimes you can bring makeup artists into your sets to help out and bring the most beauty out of your subject. But if you can do that with a couple of clicks, which is what this plugin does, it cleans a sample skin from your image. So with this plugin and just a few clicks, the people that are normally filming end up extremely happy. And again, that's either I'm working on a music video. Um, a lot of times when people are not in front of a camera, very often they're, they are very shy and usually they're shy with their skin because their skin is shiny and so on. Again, all these things you kind of prepare for. But if you're like me, you run into a lot of issues like this in your productions and you want to make uh, your subjects uh, look the best, 
definitely try this plugin out. Number five, Twixter Pro. So this plugin, what it does is slows down footage. Now that can be whether you're filming on 24 frames like I do, but that might not be the best option because you don't have that many frames to blend, but it does, it does provide a amazing result regardless. Number four, Newton 3. So although this plugin is not present very often on my workflow, mostly because of the type of work that I do. It's very rare when I end up doing motion graphics and that's mostly because I would prefer to work with film, actual film and edit film than creating motion graphics. But that doesn't mean that I don't like to make cartoons and play with other type of edits. So when I tried this plugin, it blew my mind because of the capabilities that it has. You can simulate practically anything. This plugin is by far one of the most powerful plugins in After Effects. Having the ability to add physics to any 2D element and giving how After Effects is used for so many motion graphics, you definitely have to check this one out. So whether you're animating some tiles or an intro or a title or even animating characters, this plugin has something to offer. Number three, Lockdown. This plugin has one of the most powerful tracking abilities in After Effects. Not only it allows you to track motion, but it also allows you to track warping on any surface. Definitely a game changer and has been present on so many viral clips on social media. I personally wish I had this plugin so many years ago. It's uh, very simple to use and the outcome is just outstanding. Number two. Stardust. So I'm a very big fan of plugins like Trapcode and Form and pretty much all the Red Giant plugins. But in my personal opinion, this plugin has now surpassed them. It's so powerful that the user interface could be a bit overwhelming if you have never used it. I, I know as that is how I felt when I first tried it. However, since I have been learning more 3D softwares, and most of them are node-based like this plugin, I now feel more comfortable using the plugin and its full features. If you have not tried this plugin, I strongly suggest giving it a try. Number one, Super Comp by Red Giant. So After Effects is a compositing software. And if you have tried to mix elements together, uh, you will probably know how difficult that can be. Well, to actually make it look good enough. Or how much processing it can require to have your elements fit well together. Since the first time I used this plugin, I realized this had changed the game in After Effects for me. Many times I felt discouraged by not being able to properly blend elements or having to take too much time doing so. I remember working on my first full 3D animation and realizing how difficult it can be to composite so many elements together. That is no longer the case. With a very easy to use interface and giving you amazing results, this is now my favorite plugin. So those are my top 10 plugins for After Effects of 2021. Again, these are based on the stuff that I do inside of After Effects and what I consider would be my workflows. Now I know there's a ton of plugins out there and I would encourage you to research them or research as many as you can because there might be something out there that just fits perfect for you. It might not be the best for me and might not, I might not even find a use for it, but it might just be the perfect thing that you need. So with that being said, I hope that you guys learned something from this clip and maybe give it a few thumbs up if you did. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I'll see you in the next one.